let's go ahead and go over to our game1.vb and if you don't have it up here on your toolbar it's okay you can just double click it from your solution explorer to open that and we will go down to our load content section all right i'm going to go ahead and uh, get rid of this little comment here not necessary to have and here i'm just going to say fonts that's our new class fonts dot load we're going to call the load function that we just created and that's all there is to it now every time our project initializes and loads its contents it's going to go up to this class that we just created and load all of the uh, sprite font assets that we added i'm going to go ahead and save my project again and now we are ready to go down and try drawing some text to the screen so Let's go ahead and go down to our draw routine here. And inside of the globals.spritebatch.begin and the end, we're just going to add some uh, commands to draw our sprite batch to the screen. We're going to start out by adding globals. Oops. dot sprite batch dot draw string okay so we're going to use the draw string command instead of just draw like we did before I guess it's kind of similar to how we did it in uh, the old GDI tutorials so we have to tell it what font to draw with first off um, since we created a nice place to keep track of all of our fonts it'll be easy we'll just say call our fonts class and then we tell it which one we want to draw. So how about we select our Georgia 16, then we'll hit comma, and we will type the uh, text string that we want to draw out. I say we go for the uh, classic Hello World. Since that seems to be about uh, all I can type tonight. <laughs> and then we have to tell it where on the screen to draw it, so we are going to create a new vector 2 and uh, I'm just gonna draw this to the very top leftmost corner of the screen so 0 0 0 pixels on the X coordinate and 0 on the Y and then I have to tell it what color to draw in so I'm just gonna say color dot white all right I'm going to put a little comment in here because we're not going to want to leave uh, many drawing routines or anything in our uh, base class here. Uh, so this is purely experimental at this point. We're just going to say test sprite fonts. Then we'll try running our project and see if it draws correctly. Look at that. Oh, you can see I, I left it on the... Uh, cornflower blue color from the last project. Um, I'm going to go back up here, change that in graphics device dot clear back to black. Oops. Try that again. And it works beautifully. Now you can see that it's a nice white font there. We can also uh, play with our colors. Might try orange just for fun and there you go and you can actually uh, you know using this update and the game time you can flip through different values and give it a flashing effect as well you can do all sorts of cool stuff uh, effects and things like that in X and A um, let's go ahead and test our aerial font now just going to copy this line so we don't have to retype it all. And I'm going to change our font to the Arial 8. And we don't want it to draw in the exact same location. So let's uh, drop it downward by 30 pixels. So I'm going to go to my Y coordinate on my new vector. Change that. And we'll give it a new color. I'm just going to set this one back to white. So we should have white text and orange text on the screen now. The white text should be an Arial 8 font and our orange should be Georgia 16. And there you have it. So 
we know that our sprite fonts are pulling in properly. Everything is uh, working wonderfully for us. And with that, I think we're ready to proceed on to drawing textures and graphics to the screen. So let's go ahead and get started on that.